Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I'm your host, Tyranno Senpai, and welcome back to another Beast of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaur series update video. And today we got we got a few things to talk about: some new concept art, some new figures being put together, and our first look at some box art that just came out for one of the new dinosaurs. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and check them out. The first thing on our list we're going to be talking about is the Vistahevisor. Now, in the last video, I showed you some box art that was in progress, which showed the Vistahevisor's head biting onto what looked like a horn of some sort. And just recently, we actually got the box art photograph done by the very talented Raul Ramos, and it looks spectacular. And I was right about it being a Pentaceratops, too, that it was biting into. That's awesome stuff. So it looks like the Pentaceratops and the Bistahibusur lived at the same time, which is really cool. I like to see this kind of rivalry between Ceratopsians and Tyrannosaurs. It's really cool. And I'm pretty sure um, Raul Ramis also did the box art for the Pentaceratops. I don't know. Anything me? Um, can you answer me that question? I'm pretty sure he will. Thank you. Um, but that looks really good. I love, 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 love everything about this. Plus, all the details are finally in there. The paint job looks so good. Like, in the original, like, you can probably look back to find it. All these scales weren't in there, and there weren't all these shadows. It looked kind of bland. But now, it looks absolutely beautiful. Look at it. Look at all those little scales and the pentaceratops and all that stuff. It looks fantastic. This just makes me want to get the best dehevisor more. Um, next up on our list is the Dialong. Now, in the last video, I said that this dinosaur was going to be getting a rework. And just today, as of recording this, as a matter of fact, we got a new look at the concept art. And it looks phenomenal. It looks absolutely beautiful. Look at it. This looks ugly. This looks beautiful. Like, there's just so much chicken scratch and scribble scrabble. This one looks so much cleaner and nicer looking. This is a definitely a very better looking Tyrannosaur compared to this uh, ugly motherfucker. <laughs> this looks so much better. I mean, yeah, some of the things are still there, like the way it's stanced and stuff, but there's changes in the head and the col like color pattern, and of course, the fact that this one now has a crest on the top of its head. And I gotta say, this looks so much better than the first one. Now I'm actually kind of tempted about getting this figure. <laughs> not as soon, like once it gets a 118 scale model, not a 16 scale model. Because I want all my dinosaurs to be in scale. I kind of regret now getting my Velociraptor. <laughs> uh, the third dinosaur we're going to be talking about is the Tyrannosaurus. This color specifically, it's the 135th scale Tyrannosaurus Rex. That has the colors based on the one from Walking with Dinosaurs. This one is going to be getting a pretty big update because this is the figure put together. In the last one, it was kind of in pieces and stuff. We didn't really get to see the whole thing put together. But now here it is, and with a subadult Triceratops, which might be in scale if this were an adult. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure Triceratops might have been a little smaller, but I'm not entirely certain of that. But this looks great. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finally painted and stuff. It looks phenomenal already. I'm not sure what this anime kit is, so maybe it's from Pokemon. I don't know. <laughs> but there you go. This is the 135th scale Tyrannosaur. It's going to be a Kickstarter exclusive, as we all know, so there's only going to be a few of them. You might want to get them while you can when the Kickstarter's live, because I'm probably going to try to beat you to it. <laughs> and the last dinosaur we're going to be talking about is the Uteranus. In the last video, um, the prototype had already been put together, and there were a couple of shots where of it him standing and posing. Now, we actually have the figure fully painted and stuff. This is the prototype, obviously, and it looks amazing. Look at this! This looks so good. That is some beautiful color work with the tans, the whites, the blacks, the browns, the oranges, the golds, and that stunning blue eye. And of course, we have Stormtrooper here. I think um, for scale. I don't really know Star Wars. I never really liked it, so I never really paid much attention to it. <laughs> but it looks absolutely good. I love this Uteranus. It, it's definitely on my must-have list, because I feel like not getting this Uteranus might be a bit of an injustice. Now, that's all the Tyrannosaurs. 
But there is one thing I want to talk about. And you will notice that all these Tyrannosaurs, these guys, and from the Bistahevus and Lythronax photos from the previous video, they don't have a prop to help them stand up. They, and I asked David Silva on the Instagram page, I had noticed that Tyrannosaurs don't have a pole to help them on the stand. Do these figures have full I, I misspelled have, so it, it's just gave. Have holes in the feet for any pegs on the stand. Which Creative Beast Studios, that's David Silva's uh, Instagram page, replied, yes, these have pegged feet. I'm working on a way now to add this feature to the final versions. I should be, it should be doable for the larger ones. So, it seems that we are actually not going to have to have the stands that the Velociraptor and all the other raptors in the series had um, in the first series, which is really good. I, I'm really happy about this. Now we won't have a hard time trying to get these dinosaurs on stand because this Velociraptor, man, it is so hard to stand. And whenever it knocks, it falls over. It just goes everywhere and it drives me nuts. But yeah, you guys. So that's all the news I'm going to be talking about today with the Tyrannosaur line. Um, what do you guys think of the Uteranus now that it's been painted and stuff? Are you excited about getting it? What about the 135th scale T-Rex? Now that it's put together, you look forward to see what it's going to look like when it's painted. And of course, the dialogue. What do you think of that? And of course, the box art for the Bistahevisor. These are all really exciting things to talk about, and I love to cover this sort of stuff on my channel. And I hope to bring you more. Let's start this discussion uh, in the comments down below about what you guys think about the concept art the box art and of course the two figures that we just saw today and of course the news that the dinosaurs in this line will have pegged feet let me know what you think in the comments down below let's talk about this anyway that's where i'm gonna have to wrap up the video for today if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe today hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new link to the discord in the description down below and until next time this is tyrannosephi signing off Alrighty then take care now bye bye then